Hello everybody, I am making this video because I had a problem with my new PC that I found a solution for and I figured I would share it with you guys. Before I get started, there's a couple things that I need to say. First off, I am not a professional. This is something that I came across after four or five hours of searching forums. I figured out to get the word out there. If anyone else had this problem, this video would be able to help them. Also, before I continue any further, if you're on mobile or Mac, this really isn't for you. You don't really need to watch this video. This is specifically for people on Windows 7 or 8 with an NVIDIA graphics card. If you have Windows 7 or 8 and you have an NVIDIA graphics card, then this might help you. So I'll quickly go over the problem I had and then later on I'll go over a step-by-step -step process of how to actually fix that problem. Also just remember that this is only a suggestion. This is not a requirement. This is what helped me. I'm hoping that it'll help someone else out there and just save you the four to five hours of just scouring forms to try to come up with a solution to this problem. So let's finally get to the problem. So the problem that I was having was I, I just recorded my first LCPDFR on my new machine. Uh, I had no issues, it was going great. Recorded, edited, encoded, and uploaded the video. Everything was fine. I went and looked at the video on YouTube and I noticed it looked really, really washed out. And for those of you that don't know what washed out is, washed out is it like it doesn't have enough contrast, like it, it's hazy, kind of like you just woke up, like it's, it doesn't look that great. So I immediately went back and I looked at my raw footage, I looked at the encoded footage and everything looked great, everything looked fine. So I was trying to figure out why when I was uploading my video to YouTube was it causing this washed out sort of hazy look. So after hours and hours and hours of doing different encode settings, of using different recording software, of uploading, you know, from a different, I even used a different machine. I tried everything I possibly could to try to fix this problem. And it was starting to come down to the point where I was deciding, I don't think it's so much my fault. I think it has to do more with something on YouTube side or something with Chrome because I do use Chrome and it either has something to do with Chrome or YouTube So I was still trying to look into it to find out why it was doing this and I finally came to the conclusion that it was my graphics card So after hours of scouring forums I found someone that was talking about an NVIDIA color dynamic range of the graphics card and They decided to do a little adjustment to the graphic card inside the NVIDIA control panel Which I will show you here in a minute and that actually changed it on YouTube and the reason why my raw footage and my encoded footage looked fine is VLC or Windows Media Player or any sort of playback software that you use has a built-in sort of gamma slash color setting to it. So it, it took away that washed out factor. So after doing this color adjustment, it really changed what the video looked like on YouTube. It totally, you know, made it look back to what it should look like, uh, what it looked like in my actual playback software. So I want to tell you guys about it. If you're having this problem, if you're watching YouTube videos and things seem a little bit washed out or kind of hazy, kind of unclear, and if you are on Windows and have a NVIDIA card, you can do this adjustment. It worked for me. It might not work for you. Like I said, I'm not a professional. This is just something that I found out after looking for a while, but I'll show a screenshot here. This is what it looked like. It was very hazy. It didn't look very clear. You can see that the contrast is very high. Look at the black on the police car. It's it's very bright. It doesn't seem dark like it should be. It's not really crisp. It's, it's, it's very light and sort of hazy. This is what it was like after the adjustment. As you can see, it seems like the contrast is really there. The haze is gone. It just looks a little bit crisper and clearer. So that is what happened when I changed the color dynamic range on the NVIDIA card in NVIDIA control panel. So we're gonna go ahead and hop over to the PC and I'll show you guys how to do that for yourself. All right, we're on the PC now and as you can tell, I'm on my studio microphone. So things are gonna be a little bit better audio quality than my camera's internal microphone. So what we're gonna do is right here, we're on my desktop. I am running Windows 8. It doesn't really matter with Windows 7 or 8. All you need to be able to do is get into the start menu. I do have a classic shell installed. So I just have the classic Windows 7 start menu. But all you have to do is you have to come down here into your start menu. You have to search for NVIDIA. You're going to see your NVIDIA control panel at the top. Just go ahead and open that. Once you're in the video control panel, you go to the video at the very bottom and click on adjust video color settings. Once you're in there, you'll see I have two monitors. What you want to do is you want to click with the NVIDIA settings to click the advanced tab and go to full zero to 255. I'm going to do that for both monitors since I have two and then just click apply. That's literally it. It'll just go ahead and do that. There, it's applied, and now you're done. I have it for both, and that was all you needed to do. 
So the problem that I notice is it seems like Nvidia graphics card default to a color dynamic range of 16 to 235. And in my opinion, again, this is just my opinion, I think it should be the full dynamic range of zero to 255. Things just look a little bit more crisper. Even on the desktop, it doesn't make a difference. The only thing that I've actually seen it make a difference in is YouTube. So I don't know why it makes a difference just in there. It doesn't seem to change any sort of the colors of my desktop or anything like that. It just seems like it, it unlocks the full dynamic color range, which in my opinion should be the default setting on NVIDIA cards. Also, I will include a link in the description that you can go check out before you make, before you do this adjustment, you can go check out this video, you can watch, you can see. If it looks hazy to you, I do suggest doing this adjustment. Again, if you're on Windows 7 or Windows 8 with an NVIDIA card, it's the only, I don't know if you're having this problem and you're on mobile or you're on a Mac or something like that, or you don't have an NVIDIA card, I don't really know how to help you. I'm running Windows 8 and I have an NVIDIA card and it just seemed to work for me. I don't know if it's gonna work for everybody, so if it doesn't work for you, if you're still having this issue, I'm really sorry. I, like I said, I'm not a professional. I don't know how to fix your issue. But I will include a link so you can go, you can watch this video. If it looks hazy to you, do this adjustment and then go back and watch that video again and, and then see the difference. If it actually made a difference, then you can see that it's pretty obviously clear that you know it's different. I really hope this fixed your issue. Like I said, I don't know if it's gonna fix everybody's. If you're not having this issue, then you don't even need to worry about this. But if you do notice that YouTube videos are kind of washed out or a little bit hazy or something along that line and you wanna do the, this adjustment, go ahead and do it. For me, I'm not gonna change it back to limited because it really did wash out my YouTube videos. I'm just gonna keep it on full. I think it looks a lot better. So I hope this helped you. Let me know in the comments below. If this helps you, let me know. I'm really interested in hearing your guys' opinions on this. And like I said, not a professional. This is just after scouring about 20 something forums and five hours, this is just what I come across. I just hope that it helps anybody out there if you're having this issue. Let me know if it did help you out in the comments below. And uh, I hope you all have a better view and experience if you had this issue and I was able to fix it. I really just want everyone to have a good view and experience, not just on my videos, but on any YouTube videos you watch, they should be in full dynamic range and not blown out or anything. That's just my opinion, but I don't know. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope I was able to help at least one person out there. I'll see you guys in the next videos. Bye.